Dodi Likrat Kala Pele Shabbat Neka Bela Lecha Dodi Likrat Kala Pele Shabbat Neka Bela Shabbat Bezachor Bidibur Echad Kishmian Wilham Yuchad Adonai Echad Ushemo Echad L'Shem Multiferet Belit Hila L'Echad Dodi Thank you. 
evening, turning to page 28 for our call to worship. Shalom Rava Yisrael Amcha Al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Leula Ki Ata Humele Chadom Adom Lechol Hashem
rising of the sun we remember in the blowing of the wind we remember in the opening of buds we remember we remember and sick at heart we remember when we've joys we yearn to share we remember we remember so long as we live they too shall live they are As we remember, we remember, we remember, we remember. Shemonikrat, 
We just sang how lovely are your tents, O Jacob, your dwellings, O Israel. And uh, there is an extra sense of loveliness in our tent this morning here uh, in Central Synagogue. Welcome, everyone, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I'm Maurice Salth. I'm one of the rabbis here, and I'm so pleased be, to be joined by our cantorial intern, Beth Reinstein, and our adult Benot Mitzvah this morning. I'm so happy to be uh, celebrating with both of you, Barbara and Liz. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, excited and anxious. Excited and anxious. That makes sense to me, yes. And uh, Barbara? A little nervous, but ready to go. A little nervous, ready to go. Well, um, what a privilege it is to have you and your classmates decide as adults to learn Torah, to study Torah, to to help co-lead the service with us. And we do not take it for granted. And we're so moved to have you uh, with us today leading this Shabbat morning service. I want to welcome everyone who's joining us through our, our live streaming. It's our custom to give what we call the Laura wave to the camera in honor of our beloved Laura Strauss, a blessed memory. And uh, we're so glad that uh, whether you're in the sanctuary through technology or in the sanctuary by, by schlepping to 55th uh, and Lexington that we can be together. If you have a, a mobile phone, I'm going to ask you to make sure the sound is off, maybe even uh, do something very Shabbos-like and turn the whole thing off, dare I say that. And um, we're going to, what did you say? You said it. I just said it. Yes, thanks, Dave. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um, I also want to thank our greeters, uh, Phyllis and Alyssa, who welcomed you. We call them Shamashim, uh, welcomers into our community. Thank you so much. I want to thank David and Yvonne, our master musicians, who have already helped us uh, lead uh, us in song and bring us extra joy on Shabbat with music. So we're so happy uh, that we're together. And we want to make sure that you have a little sense of who you might be sitting next to. I know that some of you are sitting next to people you know. But I bet there's someone around you who you don't know. And it's our custom just to turn to someone you may not recognize to say hello, introduce yourself, maybe share where you came in from. And uh, then we'll continue it on in a moment. I also want to welcome those members of our congregation who are joining the Mishkan through our Zoom. We're so glad to see so many of you on the screen. 
And uh, we're going to continue now on with our worship. We'll be using the, the blue prayer books, the smaller blue prayer books that are in front of you that say Mishkan Tefillah. And uh, we'll be continuing on um, with our service. My phone, yep. start of the day in conjunction with the Talmudic rabbi's teaching that one sixtieth of our being departs during sleep and returns when we awaken. Thus, with each morning, we are replenished with a complete, pure soul ready to experience fully the gift of life. This reunification of our essence provides us the opportunity for a renewed and reinvigorated outlook. We thank God for granting us the potential for a day of fresh insights, fulfilling intentions, and meaningful actions. Page 80. We're going to sing these prayers, first the cantor, then us as a congregation, back and forth, starting with the Hebrew opening and then the English translation of the prayers that are connected to uh, this idea that, that if we appreciate the daily miracles around us, our lives can be, be lifted. Just one note on, on the, the third page, there's a, a blessing that says, who has made me a Jew, and not everyone here we know that's joining us is Jewish, so I'm, I'm gonna say who's, who's welcomed us into this Jewish community. We can make little alterations as we sing these together as we uh, continue to warm up during our Shabbat morning service. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who has given the mind the ability to distinguish day from night Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who opens the eyes of the blind Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Matir Asuri. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam, who lifts up the fallen. Amen. 
Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who stretches the earth over the waters. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who strengthens our steps. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who clothes the naked. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who gives strength to the weary. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who removes sleep from the eyes and slumber from the eyelids. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who made me in the image of God. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who has made me free. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Heinu Melech HaOlam, who has welcomed me into this Jewish community. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who girds Israel with strength. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who crowns Israel with splendor. Psalm 150, which we are about to sing, concludes the book of Psalms. And as such, it leaves us with an important takeaway, if you will, reminding us that giving praise to God should be a joyful experience. It does so quite dramatically by calling on us to praise God with drums, lyres, horns, and even clashing cymbals. For good reason, then, it is often called a musician's psalm. However, I'd like to expand this view a little and consider this psalm in the general context of creativity, noting that it also calls on us to praise the Lord not only with music, but also with dancing, and that the psalm itself is a poem, the product of a creative act. Altogether then, this psalm is exhorting us to draw on the full range of our creative abilities abilities which the Almighty gave to each of us to express praise to God, the creator of all. Hallelujah, page 100. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. that we have prepared ourselves. It is time for our call to worship the Bar Hu. So we rise in body or in spirit, and we turn to our order of service with this beautiful kavana added to our Bar Hu. Come, come all of you, come all of us, and let
Please be seated. Let's read in English on page 110, the translation to this next part of our service. Praised are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe. Please join and read with me. Creator of light and darkness, who makes peace and fashions all things. In mercy, you illumine the world and those who live upon it. In your goodness, you daily renew creation. How numerous are your works, Adonai. In wisdom, you form them all, filling the earth with your creatures. Be praised, Adonai, our God, for the excellent work of your hands and for the lights you created. May they glorify you. Shine a new light upon Zion, that we may all swiftly merit its radiance. Praised are you, Adonai, creator of all heavenly lights. Baruch Ata Adonai. Yotzer Hameorot. Tanu Adonai Eloheinu Chem Adonai Elohecha Bechol Evavcha Ubechol Nafshecha Ubechol Meodecha Vehayu Hadvarim Haele Asher Anochi Mitzavecha Hayom Alevavecha Veshinan Tzam Levanecha Vidibar Tzabam Bishiftecha, Bavetecha, Uvlechtecha, Vadere, Uvshochpecha, Uvekumecha, Ukshart Samleot, Aliadecha, Vihayulitotafot, Bene Necha, 
וכתב תם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם אדוני אלוהיכם אמת We're continuing on people um, sometimes say to me by the way we're, we're about to sing Micha Mocha on page 122 um, they say to me when we're, we're reading the cycle of the Torah the story of Exodus that we, we retell at Passover actually takes place somewhere around like December or, or January like hey how come the Torah is not in the same cycle as the holidays and the short answer is that there's, there's two different cycles going on the Torah is being read chronologically but uh, the holiday of Pesach is a spring holiday, and many of us know it begins in less than two weeks. But every service, we recall the exodus of Egypt, we recall the, the freedom and the joy, and hopefully uh, remind ourselves of the, the fortune we have to be free by singing the words the Israelites sang, taken directly out of the Torah portion with the words of Micha Mocha, which are on page 122.
on page 124. And we rise. I 
Our sages taught that every prayer service should have an opportunity for each of us to pray the prayers that are within our own hearts and minds. And this is the section of the service where we do that. Uh, and interestingly, they sometimes got together and they said, hey, hey, Liz, what do you pray when you pray your silent prayer? What, what, are, you, what are you saying? And they actually, some of them shared with each other. And one of them, their, their personal prayer was so moving, they said, let's, let's add it to the prayer book. And since the ninth century, this prayer on page 142, Elo Hainetzor, which you sang so beautifully in Hebrew last night with, with Kander Mutlu and Rabbi Bukdal. Um, this is on the list, so it's kind of ironic, right? Pray your own personal prayer, but one was so good, they said, well, let's, let's add this one. But if you look at it, you can see, well, huh, makes sense why they added this one. It's really great. So however we want to pray now privately using this prayer or other prayers from our hearts, or maybe we can inter um, weave the, the personal prayers and the prayers in our prayer book. We'll take a moment to do that, and then we'll continue on with our service. You can do so standing or seated, as is your preference. Sim Shalom Tova Uvracha Sim Shalom Tova Uvracha Sim Shalom Tova Uvracha Chain Vachesed Chain Vachesed Berachami Chain Vachesed Chain Vachesed Berachami
invite the congregation to rise as we prepare to open our ark. nurtured our people from Sinai to today. It teaches us love and justice, hope and peace. Shema Yisrael Adonai Please be seated. 
This morning, we will be reading from Leviticus chapter 4, verses 1 through 6, and I do not have the page number. Well, I, I have the page number oh, for fabulous. you. fabulous. Yes, it is on page 769 of the larger blue books that are in front of you, the book that says on it, the Torah, and we're going to uh, be honored to have our adult benot mitzvah have a chance to lead us in the chanting of the Torah this morning. I just want to say a few words about this Torah portion. You've been assigned one, I would say, one of the more challenging uh, sections of the Torah, the book of Leviticus. And you're going to be reading a section which I think is very interesting. This is a, a, the book of Leviticus in many ways talks about the ways our ancestors connected to God through rituals of um, ritual sacrifice. And um, it's, it's a practice we don't have anymore in, in Judaism due to the destruction of the temple 2,000 years ago in Jerusalem. Um, so the, the, uh, the details don't necessarily resonate with us as moderns. But what I, I really found interesting, particularly in the section that you're chanting, is that um, different sacrifices were associated with different um, ways to connect to God. Um, sort of the way we have different prayers um, for connecting to God. And the section you're reading talks about the sacrifices connected to asking God for forgiveness for sins that had been uh, taken on by individuals and the community. And the, first, the first note with regard to who is to offer a sacrifice is, is for the high priest, the, the Kohen Hagadol. Here, the, 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 the Hebrew is a little different, but it's it referencing the, the most important ritual leader is to make the first sacrifice, which I think um, is a, a very positive statement that our tradition would say that our leaders first have to think about what they've done that have not been proper in order to best serve the community. So we're not asking you to chant this because we have of any sins which we expect you as a adult B'nai Mitzvah leaders have had. But um, I think it is noteworthy uh, that our tradition um, didn't shy away from saying that even the leaders may have faults which they too have to ask for forgiveness for, to think about, to reflect upon, and to uh, therefore help best lead the community. So um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a special section of the Torah, and we're so honored that you'll be uh, chanting it today. And now I would like to call up Barbara Schrager for her Aliyah. Nalamo, 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 Bella Bat Masi Hakohain, Vimorakai Halevi, Habat Mitzvale Aliari Shona. Baruch Adonai Hambarach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Hambarach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim Benatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen V'yedaber Adonai el Moshe lemor. Daber el b'nei Yisrael. Lemor nefesh ki techeta vishkaga mikol mitzvot Adonai asher lo ta'asena. Ve'asa me'achat mehena. Im ha'kohen ha'mashiach yecheta la'ashmat ha'am. Ve'hikriv al chatato asher chata par v'mbakar Tamim Ladonai Lechatat. Baruchata Donai Eloheinu Melechalam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Demet Bechaye Olam Nata Betochenu 
Baruch ata Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. Yes, Koach. You know, usually, uh, Barbara, on your birthday, you get gifts. It is Barbara's birthday today, but uh, you have certainly given us a great oh, gift you with your beautiful chanting of Torah. Thank you. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. It is my pleasure to now call up Elizabeth Sharpless to bless and read from the Torah for us. Nalamo, nalamo, nalamo. Eli Sheva Chana Bat Yosef Shulamit Habat Mitzvah Le Aliyah Sheni. Baruchu Et Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Le Alam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Le Alam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam. Asher bakar banu mikol ha'amin v'natan lanu et Torah to baruch ata Adonai naten haTorah. Amen. Okay. This one, right? he et hepa. El petak o helmo ehet lifne he adonai esamahak et yado al rohosh hapahar veshachat et hapahar lifne adonai velakak. Hakohen Hamashiak Midaham Hapar Vehevi Otoho El Ohel Moehed Betavahal Hakohen Et its Bao Vadam Vehiza Min Hadam Sheheva Hey Amim, Lifne Adonai, Et Pene Paroket Hakodesh. And where did I finish it? Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natan lanu Torah imet, v'chaye olam nata betochenu, baruch ata Adonai, noten ha-Torah. Amen. You too, Liz, have given us a great gift in your beautiful chanting of the Torah. When, the, when our founders built this congregation in 1872, they had this dream for the promise of what the Jewish community could be here in the United States and into the future. And uh, that dream is certainly fulfilled with you reading Torah so beautifully, as well as you, Barbara, this morning. And so, of course, after you have both come to the Torah, given an aliyah and read, we have to celebrate with you. So Barbara, if you want to come on down so we can, we can celebrate with you properly and we're going to celebrate the best way we know how. can be seated. Thank you. 
just taking it all in, the uh, incredible blessing and uh, accomplishment of you uh, leading us this morning. In the presence of the Torah, which you just chanted, we'll now take time to think of those who are in need of healing, those of uh, our loved ones and our friends and family we know, and also those we don't know. We pray for their recovery as best as possible with our prayer for healing, which can be found on, on your order of service page. We'll be also um, inviting you to share names for, I'm sorry, we're going to use the prayer book, correct? Sorry, Misha Barak this morning is in our prayer book on page 253. And it's our custom to share, I invite you to share aloud or if you want to think in your, in your own mind of people you're praying for this morning, we'll invite you to say their names out loud if you'd like at this time. for all of them and for all of us we pray this prayer for healing Avraham Yitzhak V'yakob Sara Rivka Rachel V'leya Hu Yivarech Et HaKholim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Yimalei Rachamim Aleyhem Lechach Alimam Ulerapotam Ulechach Azikam Vishlach Lahem Mehera Refua Refua Shleim Amin HaShamayim Refua Tanefesh Refua Taku Hashtab agalav is man kariv vinomar amen. We're going to lift the Torah, show everyone in the congregation the words you just chanted. I'll invite people to return to standing as we honor the Torah. Vizota Torah. Asher Samoshe Lifnei B'nei Yisrael Api Adonai B'yad Moshe Lai, 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 Please be seated. When you enter the sanctuary, I hope you received a copy of a, a poem we're going to be investigating this morning as, as part of our, our connection to this week's Torah portion. If you don't happen to have this, um, you can just raise your hand and Alyssa or Phyllis can, can we're, all out, we're all out. Oh, that's good. That's a good sign. Wow. 
well, um, then you have to look to your neighbor. I'll also read it out loud. Um, and, and for those of you that may not be familiar with this section of our service, we're going to invite you to, to share your reflections on, on this poem, um, if you'd like. Um, we're going to invite our, our friends who are on Zoom as well to, uh, to join us for that. And um, if you're in the congregation and you're, you're sharing uh, a thought, we're going to bring a microphone to you. That, that allows anyone who's live streaming to be able to hear you as well. So um, this poem is um, by Yehuda Amachai, a blessed memory, um, a, a prized and beloved poet from the land of Israel. And he wrote um, this poem called Days of Chesed. Um, chesed uh, is a Hebrew word which uh, means kindness or, or graciousness or acts of, uh, of uh, loving kindness towards towards someone else. So this is his poem. Those were the days of chesed, I heard them say once, on a winter street during days of loneliness and pain. Even for days of chesed, we need at least two, one to give chesed and one to receive it. When they are separated, the chesed does not abide, or it is spilled into the street as if from a broken pipe. Religions do not do chesed. They only inform empty time with a bell, with the musin's call, with a siren or a shofar, with knocks on the door during days of penitence. Religions are not able to inform either God or God's chesed. Since the day that sacrifices ended, each person is left himself to sacrifice. So, um, this is a poem. There's not an exact answer to what this might mean for, for you or for me or for us. It's, it's meant for us to reflect upon, to think about um, the connection to this week's portion is the beginning of this section of the Torah we call Leviticus, where, where there's a lot of, of ritual sacrifices happening. Um, we can talk about uh, what that means, too. But I'll just open it up to us to, to see what might have resonated with you, what you, what you may agree with, what you actually may not agree with in, in terms of, of what messages you were taking from this. By the way, if you're online, you can go to the uh, um, Mishkan tab on the, um, the page on our website that talks about uh, live streaming and worship, and the poem is there, too, if you want to see it. So thoughts from uh, our... our uh, esteemed group here. Thank you. And uh, appreciate you starting us off. There's a lot here. Yeah, there's a lot here. <laughs> uh, normally, for those of you that uh, study with the Mishkan, I sometimes bring like many poems. <laughs> I only brought one today. By the way, this is a, a repeat. We've actually studied this poem in Mishkan before, but like Torah, these poems uh, change as we change and as we grow. So I, I had to bring it back. So go ahead. Sorry. I, I remember that you did it. Yeah. But I don't remember what we said. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure it was brilliant. Yes. But but um, there's a couple of things that really strike me as I read this. One is this this kind of longing for days of yore. Yes. When things were better yes. and we were all kinder. Right. And they never existed, right? They're always there. And the other thought is the thought of re reciprocity of kindness uh, that it uh, actually isn't a complete circle and it certainly isn't sustainable if it's all either all receiving uh, or all giving yeah. and you have to have both and for a lot of people the harder thing is actually to receive with grace uh, and then my last thought is the role of religion and the <laughs> juxtap juxtaposition of sacrifice mm. which was done for us and now we're on our own to find that own way of, of creating a divine life. Yeah, very, very, lots of, lots of interesting points. Just to um, further what you just said, in, in the uh, traditions of the Torah, but also the Israelites, um, the community would bring uh, mostly uh, animals, or sometimes it could be uh, from their crops, to the uh, temple. Um, and the actual ritual sacrifice, as you just said, was done by the Kohanim, by the priests. So they weren't actually doing it necessarily. They were bringing the supplies, but they weren't doing the actual sacrifice. But since 
there's no longer uh, this idea of perhaps it's us to us now. So great points all around. Do I see, do I see a hand? All right. Thanks, Arden. Yeah, yeah, the first obvious thing for me is like the given and like receiving, like being kind of oneself, but really like something I see is the importance of being able to receive because like in my life, um, receiving has been an impetus to give. Like there have been times where like, well, I've been given this much and I feel like I have to pay the world back in some kind of way. Mm. Um, and like feeling that kind of like, Th th that 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 owing something that that need to give back because you're given to um, is I think like an important an important part of Chesed that kind of keeps the cycle going and those people who gave probably had someone give to them too before. Mm. Thank you. Appreciate that. I see. We're going to get you and say. I see a few people have their hands raised on our on our community on Zoom. Is that right? Did I see that? That's right. So let's start. Uh, with Katrina, thank you. My thoughts are that the words that resonated with me were was kindness and how even in the Torah we we're taught to do unto others as we would do unto ourselves and to be kind to others and to be kind to yourself. If you're not kind to yourself, how are you going to be kind to others? Uh -huh. I think that is part of the sacrifice as well. Sacrificing the, the thoughts that we think and just be kind to your mind to your mm. mental thoughts and be kind to your body as well. <laughs> yeah, right. That's great, great points and how, how uh, many of us have probably heard our own self-talk has tremendous power uh, and so we should be conscious of that and, and I love your suggestion to, uh, to use it to help be kind to ourselves. Ami, I see your, your hand is up. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom. Shalom. Um, Yudha Michai amazing poet, and I just want to mention that chesed and sacrifice, we no longer have a big mikdash, a physical big mikdash in Yerushalayim, but I think what he's talking about when he talks about we need to sacrifice ourselves is we need to do chesed, we need to sacrifice virtually, sacrifice our people, and we need to sacrifice what we think is the only way here now in Israel, really in this battle between one way or the other way, mm. we need to talk, we need to be kind to each other, we need to do chesed. Yeah. Yeah, this, it, it's sort of like, uh, you know it when you see it, you know, the, the uh, acts of chesed, and we know it when it's genuine and authentic too. Did you want to share a comment? And then Phyllis will get to you. I had two thoughts. One was that... Uh, Religion isn't enough. Religion right? isn't enough. It's what you do with it <laughs> uh -huh. that matters uh, a lot. And the second theme for me was, reminded me of something that, was it Rabbi Katz who spoke last, last night? Um, Isaacs, I think. Isaacson, yeah. who spoke last night. She talked about the importance of community. Yeah. And in each paragraph here, it kind of comes back to, you have to be part of something. And that's yes. really important, whether it's an interaction with two people or you know, sacrificing, but it really shouldn't be alone, and religion brings people together. Yeah. So I thought there was a big theme about community here that reminded yeah, me of last I like, night. I like that observation. And this, uh, he, he, you know, Amachai finds a way to get um, a lot of big ideas into a few words, so um, you've helped further explicate that. He's talking about many re religions, and each religion is trying to reach God in a different way. Uh -huh. But the point is, everybody has the same end point, and his, to reach it is how we deal with other people. Are we kind to other people? Right. Are we making our, an effort, our sacrifice of our time, an effort to be kind to other people? And that's everybody's point of view. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, you, you, you think maybe I wouldn't bring this uh, poem into the sanctuary because, you know, at least for me, I, I read this as hypercritical against religion and uh, not just um, other religions, but also Jews. He's, he's obviously a Jewish person, but he's, he's comfortable critiquing uh, Jews along with other faiths. And I think he's trying to say, um, you know, what, what 
many prophets have said. He, he knew the Hebrew Bible very well. Maybe he's uh, echoing Isaiah who says the, the sacrifice is not enough. The shofar call is not enough. Yeah, the, these deeds, I think he's, he's calling uh, us and himself to possibly do. So I'm going to take your comment and then we'll come back to you, Andrew. Yeah. Um, is this working? Yep. Yeah. Just yeah, have to you hear me? Talk okay. right in, yeah. <laughs> so I'm struck here between the connection uh, of the, with the connection between chesed and sacrifice because uh, when you study the structure of sacrifice, it's a withdrawal of the self. It's a contraction of the self to make room for the other, right? It's like God sacrificed when he created. He contracted ah. in order to, so that we could be there. And I feel like this is such a great lesson because that is what is chesed. I put myself, you know, uh, I make myself less mm. so that I can have you in my life, so that I can create intimacy with you. And so that works with people. But I was just thinking with God. Sometimes we want to do for God. We want to act. We want to, you know, we want to take control of things. And I think this is teaching us as you withdraw, you create more room for God to act, right? Mm. As you withdraw and, and you become more contracted, there is more space for God to enter and to uh, do something in that situation. So I was thinking about that. I like that, yeah. And... Uh, depending on our comfort with, with thinking about God and, and, and our theology, we may not make room for us to, to think about where God's place is and how, to, how does God work, so maybe by taking back that prov could provide us that space. Andrew, I see your hand up. I think that's a beautiful point. I want to make the opposite point um, because the word for sacrifice in this Torah portion is korban, mm -hmm. and it comes from the Hebrew word lehakriv, to draw close. Uh -huh. And so what I'm finding in this poem is the reminder that the sacrificial system in some way was an effort to help Israelites transition from a polytheistic structure, a structure in which there was established ways of interacting with God. Um, and now that sacrificial system has ended, maybe to our benefit. And now to the end of the poem, each person is left for themselves to sacrifice. We can actually have a closer relationship to God huh. because we can offer ourselves and our actions right. as opposed to animals. Yeah, right, we're not, we're not uh, delegating it to someone else. In fact, we can't even delegate to someone else. It has to be, it has to be us. Um, isn't it interesting? This, I, I don't exactly know when this poem was written, but it's, it's decades old. And his, his emphasis on, on this, I love the word chesed, because there really isn't one um, English definition. It has, a, I think, a, a wide net of this heartfelt, genuine, authentic care for someone. And, uh, and I, we, could, we could all give our own definitions, but, but his emphasis on, on how important it is and, and how clear it is, at least to me, uh, how, how significant chesed is needed uh, in, in our individual lives and in our, in our maybe more uh, smaller, the small circles which we exist in. And then, of course, our, our, our neighborhoods, our cities, our states, our, our nations, are, you know, and you can go on. So um, he really has some clarity. And yet, uh, this is not a new idea, but how, how much work it, it obviously takes for there to be this chesed around us, because if it wasn't so hard, we wouldn't be talking about it, it needed so, so much around us. Um, other, other comments? Oh, yes, thank you, uh, Andrew. So Susan and then Ed. I was reading the religions do not do hesed. They only inform empty time with a bell, et cetera, et cetera. And it's easy when we're in temple on the high holidays or even on a Saturday to think of hesed, but we need to do it every day. We need to bring that into our everyday life. That's yes. what I got from this. I, I like that. And it's, yeah, how do we, how do we leave this worship space and then, and then bring it out, particularly when we're in situations where, um, you know, there's other impulses that we have as human beings where we might be uh, inclined to be more, more sharp and more, and more edgy and more uh, unkind. So how do we, if, if, if chesed is a priority for us, how do we um, counter those other impulses, um, particularly if, if that's um, clear to us that, that that's what we want to be doing, so. And I and think we'll sacrifice. Have you have the last comment for now. Uh, there's, there's lots more to be said here, but uh, go ahead. Ah, well, so I'm fixated actually on the same line as uh, 
as we just discussed. And I, I, you know, sometimes you always talk about that, that, that Rabbi Hillel story. Uh, but I think in a lot of ways, this is the, this is the essence of what we do. Sometimes when we're looking for chesed, we can't find it. We, we haven't given it. We haven't found it. But we find it in the community that we pray with. And, and uh, so religions, yeah, don't do, do chesed, but they can make it available to us. Mm. Yeah, I hope, I hope so, Ed. Thank you. And uh, um, it's grateful to you all for your comments on this and for the opportunity to take a look at this uh, poem and this idea, um, uh, this, this question of how sacrifice might apply in the modern world. So a lot, a lot of food for thought this morning and I'm grateful to everyone who helped uh, discuss this section of the Torah and this, this very evocative poem today. We're gonna return now to the remainder of our prayer service. We're going to invite our Benot Mitzvah up to the Ark for a special blessing, and then uh, continue on with words from our order of service. Please rise. The, uh, in the Torah, it says, when, when you're to bless the Israelites, use this blessing. This is often known as the priestly benediction, the three-part blessing, and we, we uh, recite it in times of, of joy and uh, particular uh, moments of uh, success and accomplishment. So we recite it uh, in your honor this Shabbat morning. Adonai ve'yishmerecha ken yehi ratzon. May God bless you and guard you. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha v'yichunecha ken yehi ratzon. May you experience God's graciousness. Isa Adonai panav elecha ve'asem lecha shalom, shalom. May you take this moment in time with you and fill it. We hope your soul with some extra shalom, some extra peace. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. We will continue with the words on your order of service, Baha Shevotah. Baha
We're about to recite words of Mourner's Kaddish, and in preparation for that, I'll share this poem from page 288 by Merritt Malloy. She wrote, when I die, give what's left of me away to children and old men that wait to die. And if you need to cry, cry for your brother walking the street beside you. And when you need me, put your arms around anyone and give them what you need to give me. I want to leave you something, something better than words or sounds. Look for me in the people I've known and loved. And if you cannot give me away, at least let me live in your eyes and not your mind. You can love me best by letting hands touch hands and by letting go of children that need to be free. For love doesn't die, people do. So when all that's left of me is love, give me away. The Shabbat we remember with love, dear ones who have died within the past 30 days, Philip Basser, Paul Corwin, Ann Gresser, Michael Grunbaum, Ed Herbst, Debbie Lang, Richard Marlin, Larry Runninghawk, Madeline Scheitkin, Lenore Siegel, and Hazel Weinberger. And if you're remembering someone this Shabbat morning, or you're here to observe a Yurit site, we'll invite you to say their name out loud now if you'd like. Zichronam, Livracha, may their memories always be for blessing. Mourner's Kaddish is on page 294. Yit kadal v'yit kadash shemei rabah v'yomah divrach yurite v'yamlich malchute v'chayachon v'yomechon v'chayedichol beit Yisrael v'agala v'yizban kari v'yimru Amen. Yehe shemei rabah m'varach le'olam u'me amaya yit barach v'yishtabach v'yipar v'yitramam v'yitnaseh Viet Hadar, Viet Haleh, Viet Allah, Shemed Kudsha, Brichu, Leila, Min Kol Brichata, Vashirata, Tush Brichata, Venechamata, Damiram, Veyama, Veyimru, Amen. Yehe Shlom Araba, Min Shemaya, Vechayim, Alinu, Veolko Yisrael, Veyimru, Amen. Ose Shalom, Vimromav, Hu Yase Shalom, Alinu, Veolko Yisrael, Vimru. Amen. Amen. So Barbara and Liz, I asked you at the beginning of service, how are you feeling? Um, I don't want to you know, completely put you on the spot because it's so amazing. But I do want to ask you how you're feeling now. Um, just curious. And Very sedate <laughs> and ready for a glass of wine. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> right, it's, uh, yeah. Um, um, yes, Liz? Yeah, I'm going to echo um, the reaction of a young lady who I was uttering <clears throat> Bob Mitzvah. Um, party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just have to say, there's nothing like chanting Torah in front of your community um, when, uh, when it's not your native language, when you've, you've, you've been learning a new tune, you've been, been um, studying for months, and, uh, and uh, we're just, uh, if you want a little exp extra inspiration for, for chesed, for goodness, for, for focusing on what um, is beautiful and good in this world, you've given it to us this morning and perhaps that can even result in a little extra shalom in our world we're going to close with a song of peace in a celebration of shabbat and this is a spectacular morning <laughs>
שבת שלום. שבת שלום. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.